semifinal matchup of the Arizona Girls Lacrosse Association. We appreciate your support and attendance at tonight's game between the Pinnacle Pioneers and the Higley Lady Knights. for both teams. First, for the Pinnacle Pioneers. Number two, Gretchen, Gretchen Hughes. Number five, Delaney McHugh. Number six, Savannah Souza. Number nine, Taylor Solids. Number 10, Hannah Leakey. Number 11, Evelyn Vogel. Number 12, Kinsey Novak. Number 15, Madeline Hunt. Number 18, Caitlin Coda. Number 19, Emma Lewis. Number 23, Olivia Basoy. Number 24, Kiara Briggs. Number 25, Taylor Conti. Number 27, Madeline Sievers. Number 30, Zoe Robbins. Number 36, Michaela Golong. Number 50, Brynn Davis. Number 66, Lila Ravenscroft. Number 77, Gwyneth Shara. Number 90, Kayla Lentz. Number 99, Izzy Caputi. The two goaltenders. Number 46, Izzy Shumper. Number 32, Rain Tierra. The head coach of the Pioneers is Reggie Younger. Assistant coach is Chris Abrilla. And now the roster for the Higley Lady Knights. Woo! Ashlyn Campbell. Woo! Reese Foxlater. Ella Jones. Woo! Number eight, Hadley McCampos. Woo! Number 10, Lila Morris. Gabriella Simitoni. Number 14, Jersey Levin. Number 15, Iris Levin. Number 16, Keely Erickson. Number 18, Toby Skiles. Number 20, Cohen Rittenauer. Number 21, Bailey Delisle. Number 27, Morgan Landy. Number 28, Natalie Rydell. Number 29, Abel Levin. Number 30, Presley Johnson. At number 42, Jamie Rinaldo. Goaltenders for Higley, number 39, Lucy Mikolajic. Yeah. And number 19, Anna Broadbeck. Yeah. The head coach of Higley is Whitney Leather. Assistant coaches are Tess Kaiser, Amelia Mendoza, Adam Wirtz, and Jagan Beck. The officials for tonight's game are Devin Martin, Scott Peckage and Warner Orr. Fans, at this time, to honor America, we ask that if you're able to please rise and please remove your hats for the playing of our national anthem.
Thank you. Smoking is prohibited at all times at the stadium. Thank you for your cooperation. In order to ensure the safety, well-being, and enjoyable atmosphere for everyone at the game, we ask it to be respectful of the athletes, fellow spectators, and all of those supporting the event. Thank you for your cooperation. Starting on the attack side, number 20, the Kennesaw State D1 commit. Cohen right now are 37 goals on the season. Number four, the Merrimack D1 commit. Ashlyn Campbell coming in with 34 goals. And the Winstock D1 commit, number 27, Morgan Lane coming in with 35 goals. Also at midfield, number 15, Iris Levin, 19 goals and 16 assists against the squad in the season. And those four went for them to lead the attack side for Haley tonight. Over on defense, number 14. In this context, we don't disrespect, so when I bust around, I'm going to be next. We got five minutes for us to disconnect from all the teams that can end up on the back. Get out of here for Higley. Get out of here! Get out of here! Gets a 
the off the restraining line. Coming right now, now. With the ball feeds up to Iris Lennon. A nice look, but knocked down. Look like he's keeping it up and sticking there as Novak comes in and gets the ground ball. inside the yeah. eight.
control again. Pulse. Trying to get over the restraining line here. Trying to roll dodge, loses the cradle, but able to pick it back up. There's Novak on defense. Levitt brings it out on the right wing. Chris, what a shot. Got the high to high save by Izzy Schimber. It was a tough shot, but Schimber made sure. Picked up on the rebound. Initially by Izzy, but Get it over to Schimber. <laughs> Halfway through the first here, Pinnacle, not a lot of possessions on the attack side yet. Everybody covered here, marked up well by the Knights. Schimber waiting for the right opportunity. Finally gets open. Has to pass it back. Having Kappa's all over there. White's finally coming out of the field here. Tries to get a feed inside to Bryn Davis. Savannah Souza getting a critical draw control from Pinnacle. 
violation being called here. I believe I thought it was the compass, but it looks like it might be number 14, Jersey Levitt, and she gets pulled back and they set Yuski up at the dot. Back over to Caputi. Fires one. Off the right side. Check, Davis picks it up and she's able to see the top of the
seconds to work with on the clock here.
down to X to settle it.
like uh, Randy might have moved first and that got Randy or I think he moved a little early on the draw before the whistle. Taylor Conson comes over, passes up to Davis. Has the ISO opportunity, but not able to make the last one. Knocked down there by Erickson. I don't think she even realized she got a stick on that. Taking the ball down to the ground from Davis. It's good muscle memory that had her stick up in the lane right where it should have been. Watch the pass. Eagle definitely playing some good high pressure defense here. <laughs>
nice move by Randy. I think we're being so smart about these shots right now, just not taking, not taking them until they see the one they want. Yeah, I haven't seen too many go wide from Higley, so definitely making good decisions with their shots. Not in any rush, working the ball around, good control. Pinnacle's uh, clogging up the middle, they're uh, not trying to force it through either. There it is, nice! Oh.
32 seconds left. Let's see if they can make something happen. Yeah, Kiara breaks in there, breaking that up. You can see her back on the field again. She was out. Oh, 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 back in here, her senior year. That's 20, 20! Some play time. The yellow card has been issued to Higley. 
That's Higley's second yellow card. Yellow two minutes. Didn't quite see what happened there. I think it may have been ejected ahead. Looks like it's uh, 18, I believe. So the second yellow. I think it's Toby Skiles, 18 for Higley. Thank <laughs> you. 
he's taking it up the wing now.
making any rash decisions either. That's a beautiful rash for uh, Higley, number 12, no foul, sliding in, making sure that drive doesn't make it all the way to the Good day, good day.
Yeah.